Marketing, it's Sam Frost here back with some more digital marketing advice. Now in today's video I want to answer the question what CRO is in digital marketing. So you may have seen uh, reference to the acronym or term CRO. Long story short that stands for conversion rate optimization and CRO is really the process of trying to make your website typically or your landing pages uh, convert better. So you've got a website for your business and people are arriving on that website via different channels and different tactics. So you might be running Google ads or doing SEO or running Facebook ads or whatever the case may be. How do you turn more of your website visitors who are hitting your site or your specific landing pages? How do you basically turn that into more leads and hopefully more sales and more revenue and profit for your business. So that's what CRO refers to. So if a digital marketing agency or freelancers pitched you on the idea of CRO or somebody's told you, hey, you should look at CRO for your business website because we think that it's not structured to convert very well. Basically think along the lines of trying to get more uh, results out of the existing traffic that's already coming to your site. So if you want to generate more leads for your business, there are really two ways to look at it. If you're just talking about something simple like having a website for your business and you know you have a inquiry form on the site and you want to go from say five inquiries a week to 10 inquiries, so you want to double your inquiry volume, how would you do that? One way is you could drive more visitors to the site. So if you're only spending $100 a week on Google Ads at the moment, could you go to $200 a week and double the amount of traffic you're getting and then double the amount of leads that way, assuming your conversion rate stays the same? On the other hand, you can think about it in the context of, hey, I'm already getting a certain amount of traffic coming to my site, could I double the conversion rate? Now, doubling your conversion rate's not easy to do. I have seen it happen in the past. Um, I've seen even greater results than that, but oftentimes that's because somebody's done a sort of CRO or conversion rate optimization piece of work that fixes something that's actually broken with the site. So, um, you know, going and looking at your site and making sure that all your contact forms and sign up forms and checkout processes and so on work correctly. That's the kind of thing that's really fundamental CRO, uh, right down to the nitty gritty of, you know, where buttons are placed on the site and what colors fonts you're using and you know the exact wording you use on landing pages and lead forms and so on. Um, CRO also you know is important to consider from the perspective of the advertising you're doing, the channels and tactics you're doing as well. So it's not just about what you put on your website or landing pages, it's also about what you put in your ad copy as well if you're running Google ads or Facebook ads and so on. So yeah, CRO basically refers to conversion rate optimization, that's what it stands for. It is the process of trying to convert more traffic uh, or sort of visitors to your site or landing page or clicks on your ads into a greater number of leads and then turning those leads into more sales and more revenue and more profit for your business. Um, what I would suggest if you're interested in CRO, if you've been pitched on it, is look at combining CRO with actually trying to scale the uh, sort of volume side as well. So what I mean by that is, you know, unless you've totally tapped out all of the advertising and, and digital marketing you could be doing, you should, uh, combine that with actually looking at how you'd improve the conversion rate of your website and landing pages and doing both at the same time tends to yield the best possible results but equally you might only have the budget to do one or the other and maybe doing CRO or improving your conversion rate is the way to go. So I haven't really explained much how to do CRO or conversion rate optimization in this video that's sort of beside the point. Main thing is just to explain what the concept is in general terms. Hopefully you found that helpful. Please like this video if you did. Please subscribe for more digital marketing advice and I'll see you next time.